how to read ebooks and audiobooks on your Apple device using the Libby app. Brought to you by the Central Islip Public Library. Step 1. Download Libby from the App Store. Open the App Store on your iPhone or iPad. Hit search in the right corner. Type in L-I-B-B-Y. Then install the app, download it, and hit open. Do you have a library card? Hit yes. This brings us to step two. Log in using your library account. You can look up your library by name or location. Hit all search for a library. Type and select Central Islip Public Library. Enter your library card number and hit Next. Type in your library account password. If you are not sure what your library password is, please watch our video tutorial called How to Create a Library Account. Then hit Sign In. Step 3. Turn on notifications. At the bottom of your screen, you will see several icons. Hit the round pink button in the middle. Tap Manage Notifications. A pop-up will appear. Hit Allow. Now a menu will appear. Scroll through and select what you wish to be notified about, such as your loans expiring or your holds becoming available to borrow. When you are finished, tap hide at the top of the menu to return to the main screen. Step four, go to your bookshelf. At the bottom of your screen, you will see a stack of books to the right of the round center button. This is your bookshelf where you can find your currently borrowed items. After clicking the icon, you should see a list of your loans, including anything that you may have borrowed on your computer at library.overdrive.com. The app and the website are linked through your account, allowing you to access the same items both on your computer and on the go. If you have not borrowed any items, your shelf will be empty. You can open an item on your shelf by tapping the cover image. Audiobooks like this have several easy to use features, including a big play button. The chapters button opens a menu that allows you to jump to different chapters in the book. Swipe down to hide the menu. The top of the screen has several additional features. The dial icon lets you change the listening speed. Tap Hide to close the menu. The moon icon gives you a sleep timer menu, which will turn off your audiobook after a certain period of time, such as 30 minutes. Hit Back to return to your shelf. Step 5. 
Browse for titles. To find books to read, tap the library building icon to the left of the bottom center button. Scroll through this screen for reading suggestions. For example, the Kids Reading Guide offers a variety of categories, such as new books. Tap on a book to learn more about it, then hit Borrow. You can change the borrowing length by hitting the number of days and then selecting one of the options. Hit the giant borrow button. Congratulations! You just borrowed your first book on Libby. Step 6. Search for titles. You can look for specific items by clicking the search icon at the far left of the bottom menu. Next, type the name of the title, series, or author into the upper search bar. After looking at the results list, tap the book cover to learn more about that book. Tap Borrow underneath the book cover, then hit the big Borrow button on the next screen. Finally, hit Open Book. To read this book on your device using the Libby app, select Libby. Step 7. Read with Libby. After you open the book, swipe left to flip the page forward. Swipe right to go backwards. When you come to the table of contents, you can tap on a chapter title to jump to that location in the book. If you tap in the center of the screen at any point, the top and bottom menu bars will appear. Hitting the chapter button allows you to jump to different chapters in the book. The top menu has additional features. Tapping on the uppercase letter A opens a new menu that allows you to change the appearance of the text. For example, you can make the font larger using the text scale bar. You can also change the lighting and the font style. For example, the Open Dyslexic font increases the readability of the text for readers with dyslexia. Returning to the top menu, you should also see a search icon. This allows you to find certain words and phrases in the book. If I type Lewis, this results list will tell me all the places where that word appears. Then, if I tap one of these results, I will be sent directly to that location. Additionally, holding my finger on any word gives me the option to define, highlight, or search for that word. If I select Define, I will be given a dictionary definition, a Wikipedia article, and more. Swipe down to hide a menu or feature and return to reading. Hit back in the upper menu to exit the book. Some books in Libby are read-alongs. This means that when you hit play, the book will flip the pages and read the story as you look at the pictures and follow the words. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg 
came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Step eight, place a hold. Let's say you want the first book in a series of unfortunate events. So you search for it in the search bar. You can filter results by hitting refine at the top of the list and selecting format, language, and more. The results list will also tell you whether something is number one, two, or number three in the series. Unfortunately, book one is not available to borrow at this time. Notice how the word borrow has been replaced by the words place, hold. If we tap this, we see that four copies are in use and zero people are waiting. The book should be available soon, and if we hit the big place hold button, we will be placed on the wait list. If you have allowed notifications from the Libby app in step three, you should be alerted when the book becomes available. In the meantime, hit read sample to preview the first chapter. Step nine, renew or return your books. On your bookshelf, you will see several options to the right of each book cover. Tap on the second option, which says manage loan. The return early option removes the book from your bookshelf so other library patrons can borrow it. If you do not tap this option, the book will automatically be removed from your bookshelf when the loan period is over. The Renew Loan option allows you to keep your book longer, but you will only be allowed to renew your book a few days before it's due. Right now, it is too early to renew this book. To return, tap Return Early, then hit the big Return button. Step 10. Read with your Kindle. You may have noticed that when you borrow an ebook and hit open book, you will be asked where you would like to read it. To the left, you will see a Kindle option. To the right, you will see a Libby option. Reading on the Libby app is usually the easiest way to access your titles. But if you do have a Kindle device, select the Kindle option on the left. You will be directed to Amazon.com and prompted to log into your Amazon account. Next, select the name of your device from the drop down menu and hit Get Library Book. Now, when you open your Kindle, you should see the book waiting for you. When the book expires, it will disappear from your Kindle. If you are currently reading this book on your Kindle but want to switch to reading it in the Libby app, simply go to Manage Loan. Hit Read With and select Libby. You will instantly be able to open the book in the Libby app. This video has been brought to you by the Central Islip Public Library. Thanks for watching and see you soon.